Hello guys and uh, welcome again today <coughs> a quick video, a really uh, quick video over my QL this wasn't planned but I had a problem with the TV modulator um, <coughs> suddenly I didn't have any um, video signal coming out of the modulator to my TV and then I opened the uh, top uh, part as you can see and this uh, coil uh, that actually um, adjusts the um, frequency over the um, uh, TV channel uh, was somehow broken um, I tried uh, to um, to see what is happening let me show you I'm going to power this on there is no signal at all that's what I had this morning and then I said um, yeah let's let's uh, open the QL and uh, try to see uh, what is happening. So pieces of the coil have been all uh, around the area. It's, I cleaned it up and then I noticed that when I press somehow or touch it by my hand the signal comes up which is not um, a great signal at all but I, um, yeah supposedly I could work with, with that but the coil has been damaged, ruined and um, I don't know where if I maybe in the future there you go as you can see when I touch it it goes back and when I leave my uh, uh, push it's back and when I remove my finger it's gone so quite a situation here I don't have an RGB uh, connection uh, so I couldn't work I wish I had this RGB cable but now what to do so again if I press a bit the damaged coil the signal comes back if I remove my finger si signal is gone for some reason I don't have a replacement and um, I just came up with an idea uh, I cannot of course uh, leave my finger <laughs> over there so <laughs> um, I just felt I need to you know come up with something and uh, I'll show you what I did actually what I had in mind is to do the modification like we do with uh, ZX Spectrum getting the signal um, as it comes into the modulator and uh, another cable that is the seal so I, I use this um, little piece of cable uh, this part the core actually goes to where the uh, signal comes in and the shield goes uh, to be uh, onto the modulator to be clipped later on with the top cover and I used the RCA female on the side and fed my uh, monochrome monitor uh, over here um, like exactly what we do with ZX Spectrum getting this composite kind of composite signal and it works actually works um, um, yeah we have the great signal coming out like uh, exactly what we d as we do it um, on spectrums right <coughs> so um, I guess this is the solution for me now um, until I can replace the coil um, remember those components are prone to fail after 20 30 years um, this um, uh, coil uh, for adjusting the frequency is um, plastic uh, from the outside and the inner part uh, actually that turns is uh, ceramic so it simply failed it can happen to you <coughs> I changed the signal now over to my AV3 on my regular TV so I can be sure that we have the colors and everything in place right and it works it's actually um, the chroma I guess or uh, the signal that uh, comes into the modulator before it gets modulated and sent out uh, to uh, certain in this case in most cases 36 channel um, on the on the TV so I'm gonna clip now the shield uh, with the top cover of the modulator and leave it there and the other uh, part of the cable the core uh, is soldered onto the um, uh, signal uh, leg uh, the other one uh, that is right next to it is the power 
what gives power to um, the modulator. I'm gonna r put it b behind the this screw um, base here, so uh, in case it is pulled, uh, it's kind of safe. And I'm gonna leave it right there, getting out of the machine from the TV um, uh, space that is there already for the TV modulator and leave it like this. I guess the uh, the signal is uh, surprisingly or uh, good enough, um, perfect for me and um, I, I cannot uh, believe it's gonna be soon that I'm gonna be fixing this and replacing the coil so I'm gonna leave it there for quite some time so that's all I wanted to show you guys you can do it like ZX Spectrum get a better signal for your QL so thank you very much I'll be catching you later with another video soon bye